Hey Trailblazers, at the Frisco Star, Restaurant Week is being held from September 17th through October 14th, where different restaurants highlight the unique and special menus. Mona Lane Santos has the inside scoop. Hi Trailblazers, this is Mona Lane Santos reporting with the Vanguard TV. From September 17th through October 14th, the Star held its first annual Restaurant Week. A variety of restaurants around the Star showcased special menus for diners while raising money for the North Texas Food Bank. So Restaurant Week at the Star is to give back to the North Texas Food Bank. So 15% off of all the restaurants that are per participating of their item of their choice will go to North Texas Food Bank. A lot of them are creating their own menu items for this. Um, and it's a great way to showcase all the restaurants here at the Star. Tri-Tip Grill is actually brand new to Texas. This is a franchise and we're fast casual, so it's not a sit down full service. It's really neat to be a part of the community with like Frisco having their high school games here um, and just all the different events that go on. So I would say that the foot traffic here is a really good advantage of being here at the Star. I obviously enjoy the location and being here and getting to be a part of all the events. Um, working here at Tri-Tip, our team is really close knit since this is the only location, so it does feel like a big family. Uh, to showcase our locations and offer uh, certain specials that you wouldn't get most of the time so you can actually try and sample different things that sometimes you wouldn't even think about trying. Uh, so Raising Cane's was founded in 1996 and our biggest goal that we try to do and attain is to achieve total quality, both food and service, and making sure that people get the best possible meal for the buck that they're paying with. Uh, one, you get to see a lot of Cowboys players. Uh, two, you get the kind of um, the kind of exposure that you wouldn't get in most locations uh, for us being Raising Cane's. It's a unique experience because none of our restaurants look like this one. So working with Raising Cane's and at Raising Cane's is awesome. When we get to work with a simplistic menu, which makes us a little bit more involved in everything, we can take more detail into what we're doing. And two, that we have a lot of fun. It's all about having fun, enjoying ourselves, kind of being lighthearted with everything that we do. Uh, it, we can say making fun of work uh, because it's always fun in what we do. This has been Mona Lane Santos reporting with the Vanguard TV. Choir has been working hard this year, having just had their fall concert on October 3rd. The cluster concert included LTHS students and students from the middle schools. And this is important because it gives the middle schools a chance to see what they will become in high school if they decide to continue with choir. Uh, I like that in choir I'm able to produce music, but choir music is special to me because it has lyrics, so there's a poetry within the words, not just random notes. Um, it, one of the things we do for a fall concert is we start to put to get used to the idea of um, what's this going to look like when we um, compete, um, what is our overall look going to look like, what's it going to sound like. We start working on that nice blended sound that we're working for in choir because the idea of choir is many, many parts but one voice and you have to have that nice unified tone and that's what we're going for and that's really what we've been preparing for all this time. On October 2nd, Sochi, Steven, Matt, Tarun, and Jackson had their first audition for All Region Choir. All Region is important for choir students because it gives students a chance to work with directors that they wouldn't normally work with, so you can see how they interpret the music differently from you normally would. So uh, it's an ongoing process that takes throughout the end of the year. Last year, Stephen made it all the way to Allstate, and he went down to the TMA convention the second week of February. So it's a, it's a really cool process that the kids go through. There's a lot of hard work. They put a lot of time and effort into it, and they have to learn a lot of you know, different languages and different things like that. But it's a really neat thing that they do. Choir will keep on singing for the rest of the year. Reporting for Vanguard TV, this has been Kelsey Burdick. This school year, many students are taking multiple AP courses. AP classes allow you to get college credit while still in high school. These classes require tons of notes and hours of studying. Uh, there's uh, a lot more reading and a lot more homework, and the tests are probably a lot harder. I don't know what the on-level classes are like, but that's what my impression on it. So the reason that there tends to be a larger workload 
in AP classes across all subjects is that there just tends to be more content as pushed forth by the College Board. Also because the College Board has expectations of a college level class. So in college you will have larger workloads than you do in high school. So that's why while you're in high school currently you tend to see it as a much larger workload but in reality it's just a college workload. The teachers try their best to prepare their students for the AP exam. The AP exam is the test that gives the student the college credit that the students have worked all year for? Well, the way we prepare, first off, the entire class is modeled after how the AP exam works. So we work with uh, multiple choice questions, free response questions. There's a question actually on the uh, AP exam where they have to develop a lab. So, for example, today my students created a lab, then I had other students try it. So they're developing the lab. Uh, working on those those types of concepts so the whole class is structured the way it is after the AP exam. Well AP classes do come with um, extra time like an extra workload um, and they also can just be a little more challenging in the content we usually move a lot faster so we end up covering a lot more different ideas or different texts or different you know parts of history and so that's just an extra workload and if you're taking you know quite a few AP tests and that can be a lot of extra work outside of class and you know it's AP for a reason so we always want to you know challenge our students but that can also be a little terrifying at times too. So I think students are hesitant on taking AP classes partially because of the workload that it can be intimidating. I think also because there tends to be a lot of competition between students with grades as well as the idea that it just is more time consuming than an on-level class. But I think even though students can be intimidated, there is nothing wrong with at least trying an AP course in any subject that you find interesting or something that you possibly would want to pursue in the future because of anything that you're going to get out of it, you are going to get the skill set that you need for college. The students will be preparing for the exam with quizzes, tests, and notes. Even though the courses are challenging, the award is a college credit. This has been Zach Bernice with the Vanguard TV. Hey Trailblazers, this is Julie Lyon with LT Trivia. Each broadcast will present a trivia question for your chance to win a prize. The winner for the last trivia is Chloe Bohan. The prize this week is two Andes Frozen Concretes. Halloween is right around the corner. This question asks, what is the top selling candy in Texas during October? To enter, scan the QR code or go to our website lthsvanguard.com and complete the Google form. With LT Trivia, this has been Julie Lyon. at Lebanon Trail High School. It's Nikki Blonsky from the movie Hairspray. I heard you guys are holding auditions for your fine arts musical, which happens to be Hairspray, on October 22nd. And I want everybody to think big because I know this amazing production is going to be off the charts, incredible. So everybody, you better get your tickets now or you better be a part of the fun and part of the show. So have fun, you guys. And everybody, break a leg and enjoy the show. Thanks for watching. If you have any segment or story ideas, please visit our website, lthsvanguard.com. We will now leave you with the highlight reel of our LTHS Theater Fall Show, Midsummer Jersey, performing this weekend. Have a great day, Trailblazers.